Assalamu alaikum from beautiful Slovakia, a town of, I don't know, like 80,000 people. I actually don't know. It's pretty big, but not that big, like Prague. And I just, in this video, I just want to show you how I live here, just quickly, because I've been here only for five days. I love it. I used to study here at the university like 10 years ago. It was a very different town back then, but you can see it's not a middle of nowhere. And by the way, there's actually a, a service in the church. Wait a second. Should we, should we check it out? Let's check it out. It's not completely empty as in Prague, but I'm gonna show you around so you know what to expect in this town and tell you like it's there's some Muslim things here. Like for example this kebab that I filmed behind me. It says the real Turkish kebab. That's halal guys. So if you're here get it. Then this place. This place is more like a very famous ice cream shop. Guess who runs it? Like I did the Juma today with the guy who runs it and, and his sons and they are not Christians nor atheists, you can guess. And it's very popular. And yeah. I need to stop by here. SubhanAllah. But look. Uh, this is the town. It's called Banska Bistrica. So if you don't know, Banska means like the mining mine, whatever. And so Basically behind me you have these like churches and stuff. So I'm gonna check it out. I used to study here for five years, but I was never like into understanding the town or anything like this. I was just kind of like living this crazy uh, ugly life. Actually I've never been here, so I'm excited. Hopefully they can let me in one of these things. We'll see. Last five days have been really great. So today I went to Juma in this city called Martin with some of the guys from the from near nearby towns. It's about one hour drive, it's not that close, but it was really great to see the Umma and Slovaks were like more than the Algerians and everything. I mean it's it's pretty weird Juma but still great. Every day I'm doing something different, you know, I'm traveling to some city for work, doing some work, some business, some family things. And it's very close, like maybe like hour into each direction I can go and do my stuff. So this is how a typical Slovak town looks. We have good roads, we have good infrastructure, don't worry, I know some people who are like... Tell me about Slovakia, how does it look? It doesn't look bad, it's not like a, a very bad country, you know, we have really good stuff. It's just we don't have that much economic power and as Czechs maybe, but since I I'm not dependent on this town. I don't live here because I need work. I'm just here because I enjoy living here. And life is good here. It's much better than in Prague. Because people are mar much more chilled. They enjoy life. Like if you look at the square, I live in the main square. Like this is the main kind of area. And I live like one minute from here. And the rent is the same that I would pay in Prague in like the end of Prague or something and I have a giant flat or something and look people are here drinking coffee and actually what I noticed with my wife like the coffee and everything you can get little, really good things here and everything is in the center so we don't have to travel much if we're in the city there's like in the background right there it's called Europa this is like skyscraper kind of thing and it's like a shopping mall and my first day, I've met five hijabi women there. There are some Muslims here from Turkey, a lot of them. A lot of Turks basically here selling kebab. But like really good kebab from Istanbul. And so... So that was really great surprise for me. And uh, I've had a lot of meat since I was here actually. <laughs> like even today I went to a small town near this town called Turčianske Teplice and there's a guy from Macedonia running a pizza place selling no alcohol and he has halal pizza like some, some of the prosciutto was halal so good stuff you know it's not impossible to have good, good life here and so this is like a test run for me can a Muslim live in Slovakia and today I went with one of my let's say not buddies but 
one of the acquaintances, the Muslims I, I came to know from Slovakia, he's much older and we're driving to this town for Juma and he's like in his 50s or something he's a long beard, kind of a Salafi, Salafi guy with his son it was really great as well this is where we're gonna go for dinner probably I don't know but you can see the town looks pretty cool Banska Bistrica, it's right in the middle of Slovakia there are mountains everywhere around us like really giant mountains and so if I wanna jog let's say I wanna go for a workout I can just go like I live right like right there I can just go there and I'm in the middle of the forest like in the middle of the forest and there are no people or very little tourists and it's beautiful like the views from there are amazing maybe I'll do like a video but like at the end of that street there's like a forest um, so it's like a mid-sized town and you can see people really enjoy their life they kind of chill on the they have coffee and stuff. I never knew I will be living here, like, because I left this town like 10 years ago and I was like ready to leave. Because there's nothing, like, there wasn't anything here I wanted, but now this town has everything I need to live. So it's, it's okay, you know. Hey, what's up? And uh, I'm just gonna kind of stand out probably with this GoPro because not many people film here and we don't have many tourists like all the people you see around are probably Slovaks but this is how Slovakia looks like a Slovak town looks like this we have a main road it's called Dolna then Horna which means down up pretty simple really cool stores a lot of coffee places a lot of pizza places and stuff and uh, good stuff you know everyone's Christian <laughs> at least on paper but it's good you know at least it's much more conservative but you know modernity is everywhere now can be stopped but it's more christian here than czechs much more look it's really cool really nice this is not my final destination for life inshallah but i can see living here for a few years i can see it and having no problems because i still feel like i'm part of like a bigger town bigger city i still have like life that i had in prague in just a much smaller dense thing and there's not many people around so it's like only benefits I actually like every day has been great and yesterday was the best day of my life <laughs> like really I just felt so amazing um, so I don't know I just think I've made a great decision great choice uh, I do not regret it and my Muslim kind of Islam hasn't been impacted that much because every day I meet some Muslim every day I do something with Islam whether it's eating, whether it's a meeting with some Slovak Muslims in different towns since I have a car I can just go and it's not a big deal you know like I don't live in a big city where you have to get out of the city like 30 minutes and it's just like like here if I drive I'm on the highway like in one minute and the highway goes to the big town or something so I'm, I'm okay but basically this is the middle of Slovakia the center um, I think it's the best town for life here because we have the capital Bratislava which is cool it has a lot of like skyscrapers and business opportunities and that's great and I actually have a, like a now a job job then I'm gonna go there for like once a week uh, I'm gonna be building like a really world brand inshallah but besides this not much and so that's why it's kind of hard to live in Slovakia if you are like ambitious and you want to like do your thing like I'm lucky I have like a digital remote kind of work but not many people have look behind there's this Europa there's this thing this is my gym it's like five minutes I walk around I have everything here you know it's very cool and one more thing yeah, and one thing I realized, like, cut it off a lot, every day someone dies. Every day. Like, we just went for a swim. I mean, I'm not gonna share any details, but we went for a swim in the lake here, and a person died. And they drew, they pulled him out, and he, there was like a corpse lying next to us with my wife, and just dead person. Then, day before, someone else died in the family. Like, a horrible death. Killed. It wasn't like from old age 30 years old then yesterday a two-year-old from a family like far far family but still family two-year-old died and I'm just like subhanallah 
This dunya is meaningless. This dunya is a dream. This is, this doesn't matter. Look, these guys are realizing it. There's like a service. There's not many people. What's going on? There are two services, not services, like these guys are practicing singing, but like you'll see churches, if they start like services, it's gonna be full, always. Now, fun fact, another kebab, another halal, another kebab, another halal, but this one is like a Turkish, uh, Turkish brand, and it's a real Turkish kebab. It's actually saying real Turkish kebab. So, really cool. See, these are kind of new buildings. There's another Turkish restaurant there. It says real Turkish again. And it's supposed to be kind of fancy, but it's really not fancy at all. But if you need, you can get some halal as well. And they do, besides chicken, also lamb. You see people have nice cars like Jaguar. Like there's a lot of rich people in this area. And look, look, you see this hill? It's called Urpin, which is like the most famous hill here. Everybody knows like Urpin. And like the beer, everything is named after Urpin because that's like the hill that represents the city you have this so this is it this is how you get to the center and the Urpin I'm jogging there it's really beautiful great views and this is kind of like the business district where you've got some shops and stuff and this is my gym golden gym you see so I've got everything I need here and if I need, uh, in two hours I'm in the capital, in one hour and 30 minutes I'm home where I have my family. I have another family like 40 minutes from here. My grandma that I saw yesterday. Um, my wife is super happy, super happy. I'm very happy. The only thing is Juma. The Muslims are not here kind of organized. So we need to go to another town. And it's kind of like annoying to go like one hour and 30 minutes on Friday, but Alhamdulillah, we'll see, we'll see, we have time, but it's not impossible to be a Muslim in Slovakia, it is possible, especially if you live in these kind of pockets of towns like Banska Bystrica or Trnava or Bratislava, whatever, these things, even Košice, they have mosques, it's possible, so if you ever come here to Slovakia, let me know, and I'll let you know about some things, but uh, it's, it's really possible, but it's gonna be difficult to live as a Muslim, just know that, like, Especially if, as a woman, if you wear hijab, you know. But there are women who wear hijab here as well. It's just very random. So that's my message. This is my town. And um, I'm still flying around the world. I'm still doing many things. This is like two hours to Budapest from here. <clears throat> where I can go on, a, go on a plane. Two hours from Bratislava. I can go on a plane, Prague. So whatever. Nothing changed. Uh, but it's cool to live in a smaller town and not be surrounded by millions of people. Anyways, assalamu alaikum and I'll see you next time. Inshallah, stay strong, stay under your deen. And don't forget this dunya is a deception, it's a dream, it's not real. And realize you will die one day or maybe tomorrow and like prepare for it. Like really, don't forget about it. It's important. Alright, see you later.